What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Golden Magic Carp Tournament coverage video. Uh, today I have the fifth round battle between yours truly and the trainer Ace. Ace, Ace, Ace. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this name. It has too many H's. It has exclamation marks. It is a, a very exciting name. But looking at his team, he has a specially offensive threat in Latios and in Keldeo. Um, he has the Chinchino, which has the skill link and some coverage moves in Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, Tail Slap, I believe, and U Turn, and all that shenanigans. He has the Mega Absol, which is, uh, which, <laughs> when Mega Evolving, has a lot of attack, so might be a threat. And he has the Schmeargle. Now this is a very interesting Pokemon. Um, I will explain real quick. Uh, usually you, you, they come with uh, Spore, Stealth Rock, Sticky Web, uh, and whatever they still need. But this guy um, has the Belly Drum and the Quiver Dance. So it can basically just pass anything uh, to any other guy in his team. Um, I knew this beforehand. I don't know. I don't really spy on people, but it, he was actually telling it to me, and then afterwards it turned out we had to battle each other. So yeah, that was a big, that was a, a little uh, lull that we had. But at the, at that moment, I only knew he had the belly drum. And finally, he has Togekiss. I hate Togekiss. Togekiss is annoying. Togekiss is stupid. Yes. Well, I have the Choice Scarf Hydreigon, I have a uh, physically bulky Slowbro, I have specially defensive Mega Venusaur, I have my Setter Upper, which is Ding Dong the Magical Bronzong, with Stealth Rocks in the screens, I have Weakness Policy Aegis Slash, and I have Assault Fest Conkeldur. So, without any further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? So we start off with a black screen, which is always nice. Oh, I love the color black. And Ace is issuing a challenge. I gladly accept that challenge and I lead off with Hydreigon as usual, figuring Choice Scarf Hydreigon, if I don't like the matchup, I just U-turn out, which I do, because I don't like this matchup, because I hate Togekiss. I has hacks, at least the guy knows it. He, uh, he appreciates uh, the humor of Togekiss. So I predicted the Thunder Wave, like I predicted it in my previous video, this time it does work out because the Thunder Wave is, uh, is there, is alive, and he goes for the Air Slash hoping to get some Para Flinching, but no way Jose, Conkeldor goes for the super effective uh, Ice Punch on this guy with a Guts boosted uh, attack stat. So at this point, Mac Punch for the kill, I figured, nope. Um, he resists this move four times and he lives with two HP going for the air slash and here I think okay Just a second back punch, but I get paralyzed and I'm like no this guy No, and he could have killed me But instead he decided to go for the roost which was actually not a bad play now this togekiss is still in my face I has hacks I fucking hate togekiss well switch into ding dong Ding Dong the Magical Bronzong, because he can take anything this Togekiss can throw at me. Air Slash, uh, Dazzling Gleam, Aura Sphere, whatever, doesn't matter, Toge uh, the, the Bronzong takes it like a, like a champ. So now he goes to the Nasty Plot while I lay down the Stealth Rocks, which is actually very important. He does not have a Defogger or a Rapid Spinner, and Stealth Rocks will play a big part in the end game, as you will see later on. But first we have to deal with this annoying Togekiss. He roosts up again, and I go for the Gyro Ball. I have no Speed IVs, I have no Speed EVs, I have a minus Speed Nature, so I figure it will do a decent chunk, and it does. But it's not enough um, to outroost him. But then he decides to go for the Thunder Wave, while I just just wanted to go for the light screen, figuring, ah, eh, let's let's at least just set up the screens. But with the Thunder Wave, I figured, now let's just stay in, because now I'm even slower. I was already so slow, but now, I, it's unbelievable. Look at this gyro ball. Look how I rotate and rotate and take out I has hex. So goodbye, good game, see you, never wanna be you. I don't know what I'm saying. He switches into abs la 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 la. Yes. Those are lelelelels. I have no idea why. I should ask him someday uh, <laughs> why he nicknames his Absol like that. 
So he mega evolves, um, boosting his attack stat, and he goes for the super effective Night Slash. I just think I just stayed in, maybe get the reflect off if he goes to the Sucker Punch or something, but he doesn't. He gets the crit, I don't think it matters. Uh, it is super effective coming from a Mega Absol. So yeah, here I make my own misplay. He did the misplay with the Togekiss, so I in return make a misplay with Conkeldur, thinking because he has the Night Slash, he would not have the Sucker Punch, which is contradictory to what I said 10 seconds ago. Doesn't matter, he takes me out with the Sucker Punch and in comes the Eggy Slash. Now, Eggy Slash can take any, any hit, unboosted, non-critted, of course, and because it's super effective, it procs my weakness policy, allowing me to finish off this Mega Absol. He looks like an angel, so I will send him to the heavens with my Sacred Sword. The Sacred Sword of Justice will take out Absol. The Messenger of Doom, I believe, an Absol is. Yes, now you know. In comes the Keldeo. So I figured, let's just scout a little bit what this guy can do. So I go for the King Shield. If he would have been physical, that would have been great. But as usual, uh, Keldeo is a special sweeper and he will go for the Hidden Power Fire. Now, at this point, I wasn't sure if I could live a Hidden Power Fire in the shield form. So I should just switch into Hydreigon, um, who resists this nicely. Uh, I do think because of the light screen I would have taken the hit and I could have finished the 10 off with the sacred sword myself But doesn't matter choice scarf Hydreigon is in there. Uh, I go for the Draco meteor uh, Nothing likes taking a Draco meteor in the face except for that annoying Togekiss, but we already sent that to the grave didn't we? Yes, we did so um, Doesn't kill the Keldeo though and he goes for the secret sword which is killing me with a crit, doesn't matter, it would have killed me anyways, because that's what Hydreigons do. They dish out damage, but they cannot take it. So, yeah, light screen goes off. Uh, maybe it would have mattered because I had the light screen. But yeah, Slowbro comes in, he can take any hit this guy has, and let's just call things. So he switches into Art Monkey, switches into Stealth Frog, so I think, okay, if he were uh, Focus Sash, that's already good. Um, but the skull doesn't take him out. I was hoping maybe the burn. No, no burn. And he even has the citrus berry. So great. But the good thing is he proc the citrus berry, meaning that if he decides to go for the belly drum or anything like that, it would uh, practically kill this guy. So I switched it to Venusaur, expecting the spore. I really hope they didn't uh, that he wouldn't have the dark void or anything else, and he didn't. He has the spore, so I can hear. I can just uh, mega evolve, look at this big mama, that is such a monster, and go for the sludge bomb. But he is faster, which is normal, I guess. He's faster, he goes for the quiver dance, so he has the plus one special defense boost, meaning that this sludge bomb will not take it out. Uh, as you can see by the damage, <laughs> it, it is only one HP, two HP that he has left. It's the second time I don't get the kill uh, with such a close uh, encounter. That is why this battle was so exciting. And now he's able to bat and pass uh, his boost to Latios. Now that is that is horrible. That is just a big threat. But he switches into Latios with the bat and pass, meaning that I did get the sludge bomb off, doing a little bit of damage. And at this point, I think yeah, I, I can't switch into anything at this point. So Venusaur has to die. But still, great job uh, taking that spore and doing a, a good amount of damage to the team. So in comes the Eggy Slash. Uh, 252 attack. This was very iffy. I wasn't sure if it would take out, but in hindsight, it is a stab. It is super effective. I am adamant nature with 252 attack and 150 base attack. So, in principle, it would always have taken out. But I still had the big threat with the. Um, with the Schmirgel, which can at this point, because Venusaur is dead, uh, Schmirgel could put something to sleep and set up. Uh, but yeah, first let's deal with this Caldeo. Um, he gets some stealth rock damage, meaning he's well in range for my shadow sneak to finish him off. And this, I forgot, I really feared uh, the, the Schmirgel setup still, but stealth rock is doing its job as it's supposed to. Like I said, it's very important. So Bronzong, Ding Dong, the magical Bronzong from beyond the grave is taking care of business. Here comes his last Pokemon, Tail Hunter. Now, Chinchino usually only carries um, attacking moves, no setup moves. So the wisest play for me is here just go for the King Shield. If he attacks, it does get a minus two attack drop, which he does. U-turn, not able to hit. And now he's, get, he's at minus two. And actually, that would be the game. 
he goes for the final U-turn. Look at that. Zero damage practically. I think it only, yeah. Okay, one damage. Oh my god, one damage. So I go for the super effective Sacred Sword. And that will be the game. Good game, a Sir Trainer. Uh, I really hope he can battle again because um, we had a lot of Hex uh, battles. We had uh, a lot of things going on. So, yeah. I really, really hope he can battle again. It was fun. And you really have to explain all those nickname shenanigans that you do. And your own name. What's up with that, man? What is up with that? Anyways, leave a comment. Like the video. Don't like the video. No, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. just like the video. Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Until then, love you all and peace out.